Welcome everyone and thank you so much for joining in. As we can see guys, the price of Bitcoin right now is flashing us a very, very interesting scenario. A scenario which is pointing us where the price of Bitcoin in the media short term, where the price of Bitcoin for the coming days might be possibly hitting. So before I start talking about it, I want you guys to do me a favor and quickly destroy that like button. And to those individuals watching this for the first time to hit that subscribe button. And also a friendly reminder to those individuals who have not claimed this free. 200 USDT futures position airdrop from Bybit then I suggest you guys to check the video description because Bybit right now is providing around free 200 USDT futures position airdrop either Bitcoin USDT position, Ethereum USDT position or Solana USDT position all the links are in the description down below feel free to check it out feel free to grab this opportunity now if you look at this price action of Bitcoin here in a 4 hour time frame you can see nothing much has changed even though I was getting a lot of negative comments right regarding this bearish move you can see we are still holding above the 0.5 Fibonacci line I was very clear on my previous video this 0.5 to even this golden pocket will be acting as one of the most important line of support before we start calling this an actual reversal towards this 60,000 or 59,000 because we knew right this 0.5 or golden pocket will be acting as support and as long as the price remains above it it could be very short-lived i mean this bearish move could be very short-lived and yesterday when the price of bitcoin came and tested the support in between 0 0.5 0 0.6 fibonacci line you can see guys the price of bitcoin started bouncing off it so if this here is an actual continuation i mean this relief rally is an actual relief rally then you can see guys we are not allowed to break below this 0 0.618 0 0.5 fibonacci line at any cost because by doing that we are going to invalidate this v-shaped type of recovery and price in that case will be looked as an actual bearish continuation pattern with price objective around 60,000 to 59,000 range before choosing a trend duration but I showed you in a bigger picture as long as the price remains over 60,000 right there is nothing to worry about and this is also the reason why I personally think any sort of a pullback price remaining over 60,000 or closing the monthly candle for this month of April above 60,000 will be looked bullish I mean price whenever it has tested the lower trend line from this bull flag we have seen price showing a relief rally in our case after testing the support around 60,000 we did start it with this impulsive move but now we are seeing some weakness but I still want you guys to be aware that in case of a retracement only if we break below 60,000 we know these bullish scenarios are going to get invalidated but remaining over 60,000 in a bigger picture means this pullback could be very short-lived and price after showing a move like this could be starting with another impulsive move getting attracted towards the upper trend line from this falling channel or bull flag formation around 70,000 before choosing an actual train duration like this so that is another reason why I personally think the price before showing another corrective move could show an impulsive move around 69 70 thousand and only after that choose a train duration and now let me show you with another reason why this impulsive move here in the media short term after this weakness makes a lot of sense because you can see even this bearish continuation pattern descending triangle is a bearish continuation pattern and in this daily time frame you can see every time whenever price got attracted towards this upper trend line what happened after that we got rejected right each and every time whenever we tested the resistance from this descending triangle we got rejected rejection around that upper trend line means getting attracted to us the lower trend line but in our case we have already tested the support from this descending triangle along with the support from this descending channel or bull flag so that means in the mid short term this might still result in a bullish move around 60 and 70 thousand before deciding the train duration and even if most of you might not agree with me this year is the number one reason i mean even if the price is going to follow this distribution pattern then according to this distribution pattern as well you can see preliminary supply heading towards this buying claim is just like i shown in a distribution phase corrective move automatic rally leading to the secondary test right and another pullback lower than the previous one showing a perfect sign of weakness in phase b so if this here 
is in phase B, I mean price, after testing the low here, could be slowly heading towards this upper thrust in phase B, which means even if this year is going to turn out into a bearish continuation pattern first, there could be a move around this upper thrust and then, and then show a continuation here like this. So that is another reason why even if this year is going to turn out into a bearish continuation pattern or distribution phase from Wyckoff, right? First, there might be a move around this upper thrust and only after that start with an actual corrective move. And here to the downside, I have another scenario from Wyckoff, which is known as and reaccumulation phase. Reaccumulation phase, distribution phase looks pretty similar until phase B. But if this here, right, is going to play out as a bullish continuation pattern, then you can see, guys, this lower trend line around 60,000 is not allowed to break because breaking below this 60,000 is going to invalidate this reaccumulation phase from Wyckoff and that. Could be resulting in another bearish continuation following this distribution phase but regardless of this bearishness whichever scenario is going to play out doesn't matter first there could be a move a move like this towards this upper trust in phase b before deciding the trend duration so that is another reason why i'm actually expecting the price of bitcoin to show a move at least around 69 to 70 thousand before choosing a trend duration now according to the leading indicator i mean with the help of this leading indicator we can see we have already tested the support around this monthly s1 line let me switch this into daily time frame you can see guys in a daily time frame we have already tested the support from this monthly s1 line the next support to the downside is at 53,000 but before we look at this continuation to the downside since the price is still above this monthly S1 line let us not panic because you can see S1 line is around 62,000 which will be acting as support along with the support from this descending triangle the lower trend line support from this descending channel and even the support from this 0.5.61 Fibonacci line so since we are still over some of the key line of support please do not panic even if the price in the media short term starts showing weakness because as soon as we find support in between this cpi lines top central or the bottom cpi line you can see the price after that is going to start with another continuation like this price of bitcoin in that case could be even heading to us to form a new all-time high because for this month of april our target is around 76,778,000 because that's also the price of GDP. I mean, around that area, it's also the price of GDP from this bull flag. So that is another reason, guys. For us, it's very, very important that we remain above this 0.5.618 Fibonacci line, 62, 63,000 in the medium short term, but in a bigger picture, 60,000 support must remain. And now, what if? The price is still following this parabolic curve pattern because in best four, like expected, we are seeing more sideways movement. But once this resistance around 70,000 gets broken, you can see, guys, we might be right, we might be starting with another impulsive move here to the upside, heading towards this sale point, just like I shown in the example. And this sale point could be around 90,000 to 100,000. That would be our target. The best case scenario for bitcoin for now so that is another reason we need the price in a bigger picture remain over 60,000, and to continue this uptrend we want this upper trend line the resistance from the cpi line around 70,000 resistance from this descending triangle upper trend line and even the resistance from this descending channel to be broken at any cost because by doing that we might be also forming a bullish crossover here now Williams alligator indicator. I showed you that Arisa line unfortunately has jumped below 50, right? But once we see price showing some bullish move around 70,000, this might be changing very, very fast. So that's why, guys, that's why I am not bearish, even though this indicator right now is acting as resistance i mean price of bitcoin facing resistance around 65 66 000 here in the media short term so once this resistance gets broken you know 70 000 will be on the line and even this bullish continuation pattern could be rhyming up perfectly but if you look at this price action in a bigger picture i mean in a monthly time frame i showed you that whenever we have seen this monthly rsi around the overbought area it has resulted in a corrective move or a signal market top 
each and every time you can see Erisaline was overbought, overheated. It resulted in a corrective move here as well in 2021, right? But if you look at 2024 RSI, the monthly RSI, it is still around 69.70. That means the price of Bitcoin could show further more impulsive move as long as this RSI line appears around the over bought area or overheated area so that means the upcoming days for bitcoin according to this monthly rsi should be bullish so that is another reason why i want you guys to look at the bigger picture and simply if you follow the breakout from 2013 right till 2024 you can see guys we formed a perfect ascending triangle type of formation broke the upper trend line resulted in a bullish move ascending triangle formation broke the upper trend line resulted in a bullish move this bullish breakout was almost around 1445 person second bullish breakout was around 361 person which was around four times less than the previous breakout so if this here is going to result in another breakout but four times less than the previous one then around 1991 person will be our price opportunity from this is in a triangle in a bigger picture which is still going to be above 100,000 so that is another reason why in case of doubt i suggest you guys to simply zoom out and not to over leverage yourself in times like this because market is unpredictable so i don't want you guys to lose your hard-earned money so use proper risk management proper position sizing before looking for any opportunity and i suggest you guys to simply wait wait until a certain line of resistance or support gets broken before jumping into any trade so this is what i see looking at the price action of bitcoin in a different time frame using different scenarios if you enjoyed my work then please guys please do not hesitate to destroy that like button and to those individuals watching this for the first time hit that subscribe button and also a friendly reminder to those individuals who have not claimed this free 200 usd position airdrop from bybit then i suggest you guys to check the video description because bybit right now is providing around free 200 usdt future position airdrop either bitcoin usdt position ethereum usdt position or solana usdt position all the links are in the description down below feel free to check it out feel free to grab this opportunity and by saying this i'm signing out until next time bye bye